Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a good week. This week has been exceptionally warm, which is really cool, but I've had the windows open. It's so delightful and then next week it's going to be in the 40s. I don't get it, but we take it while we can, right? So I have part of my craft HSN Craft Day haul to share with you. This is the Anna Griffin part. For some reason that all came, but my Crafter's Companion stuff has not come yet. It was on extended delivery, it says. I don't know. When it's here, I'll show you. Also, oh, they had a U.S. warehouse clearance sale yesterday. I think I knew about it like a day before and I remember it was not yesterday that's all I can tell you but I remember I got the email at five o'clock I went to the website all of these boxes of things they put together all were gone but I got some cool stuff and uh, so that's going on mm. I got my tonic kit. I'll share that with you. Not today, but it's weird. It's not a usual, not what I would think about for a tonic kit. If you guys have already seen it, you'll know what I mean. If not, you'll find out. So let's get to the haul. Now, first, let's talk about my little vanity box mini album project for gra with using the graphic 45 elegance collection and the dies from tonic so far this is as far as i've gotten and the pages are not in the book didn't make the pages yet and if you can see little black holes i'm going to crisscross some ribbon through that so i just wanted to show you the progress report while i was here Next. Okay, so if you saw, I know you did. I showed you a couple months ago or such. I don't know. I got this beautiful castle die set. I love it so much. So they had this, and I swear I'm the last person on earth to get one because I saw it a little while ago. And um, I was like, oh, that's cool. Castle cardstock. And um, then it was gone. Then it was back. And I got it. As soon as I got it, it said it was gone again. So I do not know. But I'll just show you a little peek to explain why I got it. Because if everybody know. Last thing I need is paper. Last thing I need is paper. This paper has a purpose. Hustle for stock. Meaning, it's stuff for castles. I don't want to pull this whole thing out. Make a big old mess and even more crackling than we need. Oh my gosh, look at that paper with the writing and the gold. Oh, this is gold. Gold, um, foiled. Uh-huh, I can think and talk at the same time. So let's just take a quick peek. These are some foily things. And this is some tan. Maybe it would be nice and part of the outside of the castle and then this is very fancy I'm gonna put that in the you can maybe you can see that through the windows and oh my gosh it's double-sided I didn't even see that oh my goodness gracious that's a and I'm trying to say so far they're just patterned you know but they said, or they showed, or something, that they had like, oh, here we go. 
finally on my dice. Here's one. That side of it is bricks. And then I'm hoping this one. Oh, maybe not. More bricks and beige. This is the same as the foil one. I thought there was some stone too. Nope. No, this writing. I just love that. More patterns, more writing. Come on, stones. So far, this is barely, there's more writing and swirly goodness. Okay, this has foil and the writing and the writing and the foil. Okay, well, it has some bricks. I know, could you even see me under here? I hope so. I just kept looking behind. No, you didn't see. They're all arg. It's my pirate thing. I just made that noise. The pirate. It all looks like this in different colors. Except for the bricks, which were earlier in showing. So yeah, I got this for that, but now I'm a little... I mean, how can anybody be disappointed with Anna Griffin cardstock? Am I right? It's gorgeous. But, I thought, I guess every bit up here, I thought it was going to... I was misled. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, there are some with bricks. So. Sorry to keep crinkling. I'm trying to stop. Okay, so I got, I don't know where I put the rest of that. All right, I have a problem with one thing I got, so let's go there first. So I was super psyched about getting the embossing folders for the slimline cards. Super psyched, really excited. Slimline embossing folders. They're so pretty. Whatever. So I said, I'm going to emboss things for you so you can see them. And, I mean, that is so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. This is just wonderful. That was from this embossing folder, which you can't see. Everybody knows that. But, yeah, better like that. So, here's that one. Here's this one, which, as you see, got very wavy and that is this folder now I have a Gemini so I just want you to know that because so then I use this one which I really liked it's uh again almost like a brick pattern um as you can see the Gemini like bit through it and all these little pieces and all I used was my were my two clear plates one on the top one on the bottom that's what you're supposed to use and these are really stuck in here so I'm gonna have to pick them out so what the heck and finally this pretty one look how pretty this one is okay here's the folder here it is At first, because you could see how perfect these flowers popped out, I was like, oh, is it a cut and emboss folder? Only the flowers popped out. And then I looked inside and I was like, nope, they're stuck in there. That's not. So, what do I do? What 
Does anybody, has anyone else had this problem using a Gemini? And I put this envelope through because I thought I was a genius and how awesome would it be to get an envelope, you know, in the mail like this. I almost couldn't get the, the back. I almost couldn't get it open. It's so, so much embossed that there are, oh, there you can see, the little holes everywhere from where the pressure went through. So I didn't, I was going to check. Oh, I'm here. I'm just seeing my marquee is over here. It will fit through the marquee. I don't know if the marquee is supposed to do that. I don't know. But if anybody knows anything about what I'm doing wrong here or what's going on, please let me know because I'm so disappointed. Not in the embossing folders. Obviously, they're amazing. I'm disappointed that if I use the Gemini with them, everything gets ripped. So that is a total drag, if I may say so myself. Okay, so eh. then, and this is an auto ship program. Ha! Ah, pretty slimline designs for my slimline cards. My new favorite thing. So you got all of those dies. You get the outside piece and the inside piece, and you don't need this to cut. That this cuts out, and this makes a separate layer. But if you don't put one of these in, then it will. That circle will be paper which is the way I wanted it but I was just explaining so now I was looking to see if it showed the other auto ships but I don't care it was weird this time though did anybody else notice this it was like you didn't have a choice they put you on auto ship automatically now for this I want it to be because I think it's so pretty. Look how beautiful. Oh, these are just scraps that are in my scrap bin. It's beautiful, like chocolate, but yet it's pearlized a little. And the same with the gold. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So excited about that. Mm hmm. Yes. And then, last thing I got three Anna Griffin things. I got the. Mm-hmm. I'm coming. Oh, okay. I got the shutter. What is it called? Shutter card, I think. Shutter card dies. Cathedral. So you get this. This is like the base of the card. That's a belly band for the card. And then in here. It's the center inside. The, I'll show you one second. I don't want the all these papers to cover up the products. Okay, so I made a quick one. I say that because I didn't use any embossing mitt to emboss all the beautiful detail or any of that. And you know, my shutter card may not be perfect, and no, I didn't embellish it, but I just wanted you guys to see how it works. Okay, so you got that. I took off the belly band. It's nice and intricate, so pretty, and then watch. Yeah, trying to do it so you can see it. Ready? la la the shutters, the inside, and then if I had something behind there, these are all, I don't know, I doubt you can see, I'm trying to put it in a light now, maybe up here, the embossing detail got on some of it anyway, and this should be all embossed, so yeah, so it's a shutter card, and like you said, then I could put boo, or hi, or I don't know, Look up. So 
I thought that was so cool. And imagine it all fancy schmancied up. It would be so awesome. So this is also an auto ship. And the one that I think is going to be really awesome is it's like the nativity for Christmas. And can you imagine you open the doors and yeah, it looked really, really awesome. So that is my haul. And I think I spent most of the time talking about paper that I'm a little bit, I don't know, like, I thought it was more castle-ish paper. Does that make sense? Is castle, castle-ish a word? Yes, it is. I just made it up. Yep. Copyright me. Castle-ish. Divine. So, that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And just for being the sweetest people ever. Sometimes everybody needs to hear something nice, you know, and it's nice to know that all of you are so nice and I really appreciate it. One more thing before I go, somebody, <laughs> not somebody, so many of you came up with amazing names for my problem about, um, my, uh, buying of um so many mystery things that I, I can't seem to stop myself and um okay let me see if I could stop this before stop excellent I didn't want it to start playing so I'm looking it up right now um so Victoria said I'm a mystery bag bagaholic um, Lynn Clark said I'm mysterious stuff getter. Meanwhile, she says to me, did you know that Paper Wishes has a mystery bag? And I was like, what? And she's like, yes, I just got mine. And it's worth way more than they said. I said, how do I find, I get their emails about, I have seen nothing like this. And she said, just type in mystery. And I did, and I got it. And it was only $12.99. <laughs> With shipping, 17 bucks. So that'll be awesome. <laughs> and um, I'm just trying to see because I know that there are, yes, uh, Michelle from Crafty Ruse says, I am a love surprise atosis. That's the sickness I have. And I, I believe that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh huh. Uh turn and see if there's anybody else um oh this really sweet lady sharon in south carolina she came to visit from michelle crafty ruse and um uh i made her laugh by saying i need help which everybody knows i am a mess so anyway yes thank you so much for all of the fun names and <laughs> Lynn, thank you for feeding right into my psychosis. Uh, it's so awesome. Thank you all so much. You guys are the best. You really know how to put a smile on a girl's face when she needs one. And you all not only understand, but you think that you may have the same thing. That Michelle, by the way, last time, which was like Christmas, stuff. Michael's had $5 mystery boxes or whatever, right? And she must have gotten eight of them at least, maybe 10. It was bananas. And then the other day I hear not, not, now she's got a billion of them for Valentine's Day. So talk about mysterious stuff getter, right? Or grab a hall of tosis I don't know but whatever it was awesome and so yeah it's not only me anybody out there thinking no it's only you you crazy woman I would say yes but I do know some other people are mystery bag hunters too so yes let's make a TV show mystery craft supply hunters
Yep. Mm -hmm. Remember those couponers? They used to have a show and they'd have all these coupons. Well, I don't buy anything without a coupon or on sale. So we should all look into this. Let's work on that. All right, everybody. I've had you long enough. 20 minutes. My going on. Thank you all so much. You are all so awesome. And I'm so happy that you guys are always around making me smile. And I thank you. And you all are the most awesome people ever because you're here and you make me smile and all of that makes me happy. And I thank you. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay awesome, everyone. Bye.